Hi, everybody. Uh, welcome to the introduction to deep learning. My name is Yue Jian, and I'm one of the TA of the TA teams uh, for this course this semester. So today, I'm going to give you some suggestions uh, for the time in this semester uh, whenever you feel struggling. The reason we made this recitation is uh, this course is for sure uh, included a lot of contents and uh, workload for you to finish through this semester. Uh, it is a common case uh, for students uh, to feel struggling or overwhelmed by the course workload. So we made these recitations uh, to offer some uh, useful suggestions that might be help. And this is this those suggestions it made upon the former students who took the course and also TA have already took the course. Uh, we hope that although there's a lot of hard workload, uh, you can still learn a lot and uh, benefits from this course through the whole semesters. Hey everybody, I'm Vishwak Srinivasan. You can call me Vish. I'm also one of your TAs for this course. And I'm here to talk about some of the best practices that you can follow to ensure that you're not too stressed out in this course or don't end up struggling. Let's begin. Firstly, the collaboration policy allows you to work together with your peers in study groups. This is really your strongest tool to succeed in this course. Personally, in my experience, I met with my study group every weekend because quizzes were on every weekend in this course. And we assigned Saturday as deep learning day and we met in the morning, ended up spending the entire day working on just deep learning. And it really, really helped us manage our coursework in this course and made it less stressful. I highly recommend that you also follow a similar practice with your peers in this course, whoever your study group ends up being, and it'll ensure that you can uh, dedicate a specific amount of time working on quizzes, homeworks, or projects, whatever it may be on that specific day, and it'll help ma manage your course load way, way, way easier. Having a consistent, efficient routine for collaborating every weekend like this can make it much less overwhelming. And it's also a bonus if your study group is your project group because you can end up spending that time with your study group based on however you've worked on quizzes, homework, etc. to work on your projects as well. Always target finishing coursework earlier than later. We stress this throughout the course every single time. But being early is also a practice that my study group followed and cultivating this immensely helps in making this course feel less overwhelming. Try not to miss lectures as much as possible because you don't want to find yourself trying to catch up on previous week's lectures for this week and it'll really affect your quiz scores because every weekend's quiz is dependent on the lectures of that specific week. You don't want to get caught up in a domino effect and having to catch up on previous weeks and then it accumulating over time and you not being able to do quizzes and feeling extremely stressed out at some point. So try not to miss lectures if you can. Attend recitations and homework boot camps. This will help a lot much, a lot more than you think it does for homeworks because we cover really important concepts in terms of implementing Python code, as well as what directions to take for architectures uh, that you might want to implement for part two homeworks as well. So ke uh, keep in mind that recitations and homework boot camps will be extremely useful for your homeworks. Plan your coursework according to the course schedule. It is available on the website. You have a quiz every weekend and homeworks get increasingly difficult with time. That's also important to note. And you may have to work on a project depending on the section you've signed up for. So keeping track of the course schedule and planning accordingly ahead really helps you out as well. Moving on, the professor is extremely accommodating and is available to help all students. Reach out to him for help understanding anything and he will be there to help you. Always keep track of Piazza, especially the homework quiz project threads, because more often than not, you might find another student who's asked a similar question about a bug that you've been working on for the past three hours and a TA has already helped them. And if you had followed that, you would have probably solved the bug in five minutes and could have saved you a lot of time, right? So keep track of Piazza as much as possible. Uh, in terms of office hours, the TAs, we signed up to help you out, help you guys out in this course. So. For homeworks, we recommend you utilize the provided debugging tools and instructions first, and then approach the office hours and uh, you know, ask help from the TAs. But don't hesitate to reach out to us at any point in time, and we're always there to help you out as well. Uh, office hours schedules, uh, the schedule for office hours is also posted on the course website. You can also take a look at it and plan accordingly to attend office hours at any point during the week. That is also very important. Consult your study group mentor. Each study group has a st study group mentor as well. So if you consult them regularly, you know, talk to them, they might help you evaluate and keep track of your progress as a group. 
they can guide you in in going about you know how you can manage your coursework and your course load efficiently so keep that in mind as well uh, and that would be all from my end thank you so now let's start uh so basically this course is made up of uh four major parts uh the lectures quizzes uh the homeworks and also your final project or the uh, homework five for the uh, 685 students uh, so in each part of the uh, course uh, there might be some point that make you feel overwhelmed or struggling so uh, my suggest so our suggestion will be based on these uh, three parts so the, f the first part is the lectures and quizzes uh, so basically the uh, timeline for your coming semester is you will have two lectures uh, for each week. And by the end of those weeks, uh, you will have two days on the weekends, the Saturday and the Sundays to finish a quiz, uh, which contains the problem related to the lectures you have take, uh, you have took uh, in that week. And also uh, the things that related to the reading materials uh, that is assigned for you. Uh, so during this process, uh, some uh, some students might uh, might uh, feel like uh, there's a lot of problems after the each lectures, and also find the quiz uh, problems is a little bit hard. So if this case uh, if this case happen, uh, we suggest you to rewatch the lectures and recitations to make sure that you do not miss the details. Uh, in the lectures, uh, because uh, we're going to upload each lecture's recordings uh, onto the course website as soon as possible uh, after each lectures. Uh, so you will have enough time to review the lectures. And after you re review the lecture and the recitations, if you still have the problems, you can reach out for help through Piazza and also TA and professors. So Piazza is very useful uh, and you can post questions there. Um, uh, you may sometimes find uh, find that other uh, people uh, have the same questions with you. Uh, you can discuss the, you can discuss there and is, uh, receive the help from the TA and the professor. Uh, and yeah, the third, uh, the third one, uh, if you want to uh, reach out for help from TA and professors, uh, the best way is to attend the office hour. So we will have the office hour across the whole week, uh, especially for the holidays. So you will have enough time to uh, ask the questions uh, from TA. And uh, you can also contact the professors uh, for a individual, individualized assistance. Uh, and uh, so, and after the start of your each semesters, you will be asked to form a study group, and each study group will be assigned a group mentor, which is also TA. So uh, you can also ask for help from your uh, group mentor. And secondly, uh, is about the homework. So I think uh, homework is one of the most important parts in this course. Uh, or to say, uh, somewhat a core part of this, uh, of this course, uh, because uh, it is very the, the homework in this course is very interesting, but at the same time, oh, it will also take you a lot of a lot amount of time. Uh, usually, uh, you will have four homeworks through the whole semester, and each homework will be separated into two parts, uh, the part one and part two. Uh, have a, a are designed for different purpose. Uh, so during the homework one, you will uh, ask to uh, coding some basic uh, basic functional uh, functional toolbox for the uh, deep learning training related uh, functions. Uh, and it's somewhat it is somewhat like somewhat like the uh, structures uh, used in the PyTorch and. In the second part, you're going to use uh, the PyTorch or other library to build up your own models and training on the real data sets and 
uh, trying to implement different uh, models uh, to reach the high score in the cargo. So uh, each homework will definitely take a, took a lot of lot of your time. So first of all, start the homework as early as possible. Uh, this is really important. Uh, so to uh, to show why is this important, I can say that for most of the students in this course, it is unlikely that you will finish the uh, each homework in time if you start even one half week before the deadline. Uh, because homework one will took you a lot of parts, uh, took you a lot of times uh, for the debugging after you code every details of functions. And the part, the homework part two, uh, I think the time consuming point for the part two is the uh, training parts. So to reach a high score, you're going to uh, implement different models and run experiments, but you do not have a super powerful GPU. So uh, your GPU will, uh, it will definitely take some time for your GPU to train a single experiment. So if you want to reach a higher score, you need to uh, start as early as possible so that you can try different structures and uh, adjust the hyperparameter to reach a higher score. Uh, and secondly, after you start homework early, you will have a write-up and the bootcamp uh, to instruct uh, your homework. Uh, so uh, we suggest you to, uh, we suggest you uh, reading through the write-up and rewatch the bootcamp uh, thoroughly. Uh, because there will be a lot of uh, useful details included in the write-up and the boot camps about the homework. Uh, and uh, this is, two, uh, this is uh, two of the most important parts. And after these two parts, uh, if you feel like, if you have, uh, still have questions, and, uh, which is very uh, common because uh, uh, not all details can be included, can be covered uh, in the instruction uh, of the homework. So in this in this case, you can still reach out for help through Piazza and also uh, your study group and the TA and the professors. Uh, and this uh, and this are the same uh, like the uh, way you reach out you reach out for help uh, during the lecture and the quizzes. So. Generally speaking, uh, it is really common for you to feel like overwhelmed uh, during some part of the semester. Uh, like there might happen and overlappings uh, between the homeworks and final project. Uh, so, and or the deal is dropped is dropped close. So whenever you feel a lot of pressure, just take a take a deep breath, leave your laptop, and take a break. Uh, do not try to continue uh, working uh, when you feel a lot of pressures because it does not make any imp uh, improvement. So uh, taking a walk and get some fresh air in this case. Uh, and the other things is uh, you, are you are strongly recommended to collaborate with your study group, but you need to check out the uh, collaboration policies on the course web page as well as the piazzas, so that you can uh, you will not get into some other uh, problem cases. Uh, for example, you are not allowed to copy your uh, uh, your uh, teammates' code, uh, but you might allow to uh, to uh, communicate with your uh, study group roommates on the model structures. Uh, and the performance. So uh, check out the policies, uh, make sure that you are, uh, you are not going to uh, get into some trouble. And uh, if, you feel, uh, if you face any other uh, emergency, emergent case, uh, you can contact the CAPS. And here is the phone numbers that you can use uh, whenever you want to uh, reach out for help uh, in this case. So it is completely normal to feel overwhelmed in this class. Uh, again, to, uh, again, to say this, 
Uh, but remember that uh, we are here for you. Uh, the TA team and the professors, we're trying our best to help you uh, go through this course. Uh, we're not trying to uh, torture you through this course. Uh, the main purpose uh, that we uh, create this course is uh, to, let, uh, to let all of you uh, learn what you need. Uh, so do not uh, treat the TA and professor as your enemy. Treat the TA and the professor as your friends and your helper. And we suggest to saving these documents and following that uh, slide for future reference. Uh, and we also have a best practice example for this course on the course web page. So you can borrow some useful suggestions there, uh, like the time scheduling or uh, other uh, details about homework and the course. Yeah, so here is a summary about the steps you can reach out for help. Uh, when you feel struggling. And uh, you can uh, downloading these slides uh, on the course web page. Uh, and thank you, that's all for the suggestion on what to do if you feel struggling.